for Harry Styles, sometimes spit happens. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking moments at film premieres. So it was just agony. It, it, it could have been the greatest night of my life. It was just, it was just a, a nightmare. For this list, we're looking at the most surprising events that made for memorable movie premieres. What's one showing you would have loved to attend? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Step Up Revolution Flash Mob If you're gonna have a flash mob anywhere, it might as well be at the premiere for a Step Up movie. The crowd of dancers was made up of fans and professionals alike, and provided apt entertainment for those waiting to see the fourth installment in the long-lived dance franchise. Of course, all of this was planned, as most flash mobs are, but that didn't make the interactive experience any less fun. The film itself actually features several flash mobs, one of which is a rather snazzy group comprised of men and women in suits. <laughs> Can you guess which was replicated at the premiere? Number 9. Quentin Tarantino is threatened by the Fraternal Order of Police At a 2015 rally, Quentin Tarantino took a stand against police brutality, joining a protest and saying that he was a, quote, human being with a conscience on the side of the murdered. Quentin Tarantino's not backing down in his criticism of the police. In fact, he's doubling down. They would rather start arguments with celebrities than examine uh, the concerns put before them by a citizenry that has uh, lost uh, trust in them. This simple statement drew ire from the largest police union, with executive director Jim Pasco saying he had a, quote, surprise for the Kill Bill director. The ominous rebuttal had fans worried that something would happen at the premiere of Tarantino's upcoming film, The Hateful Eight. But nothing did. The idea is it's more than just a movie. It's like you're going to see ballet, you're going to see opera, you're going to see a big, big, big show like on Broadway. In an anticlimactic twist, it seems that Pasco didn't actually have anything planned after all. Either that or he realized how bad it looked to rebuff criticisms of brutality with threats to public figures. Because I actually have a whole lot of police officers who are big fans of my work, and I think that they'll make up their own mind and we'll see what happens. Number 8. Princess Diana attends the premiere of Back to the Future. I not only met Princess Diana, I sat next to her at the world premiere of Back to the Future. Princess Diana showing up to the premiere of your movie sounds like a dream, right? Apparently not for Michael J. Fox, who said the Princess of Wales's appearance at Back to the Future's very first showing was a, quote, nightmare. That's not to say the Canadian star wasn't a fan of Princess Diana. Quite the opposite, in fact. And I realized there was one arm, arm stretch and, and a fake Yana away from being on a date with the <laughs> the pressure she brought with her appearance proved to be just a little too much for the actor in his 20s. In an interview with Jimmy Fallon, Fox recounted that she sat right next to him during the screening, leaving him afraid to take a bathroom break for two agonizing hours. Then what happened was the movie started and, and I was and I had to add to a pee. And so the rest of the movie, I'm sitting there like dying and I can't say anything to her and I can't back away, I can't walk away from her because I can't turn my back on her. So it was just agony. <laughs> Too bad he didn't have a real time machine so that he could have used the bathroom before the movie began. Number 7. A Scavenger Surprise Over the Hedge is a delightful animated film about a ragtag group of forest animals who come to find their woodland home has been recently taken over by humans. What is this place? RJ the raccoon, who owes a bear some food, decides to convince the other animals to forage with him in the homes of their new neighbors, with varying results. Didn't you see it? It was in the box. They've always got food with them. We eat to live, these guys live to eat. The film was a hit with families, critics, and vultures. Yep, you heard that right. A trained vulture actually attended the Over the Hedge premiere. We just hope he wasn't disappointed by the lack of bird representation. Number 6. Jerry Seinfeld zooms into the Bee Movie premiere as a giant bee. The flight of the bumblebee has never been more literal or more horrifying. Buzz, 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 buzz. I know what I'll do. I'll pollinate these flowers. <laughs> At the 2007 Cannes Film Festival, Jerry Seinfeld, who co-wrote and starred in the DreamWorks animated film Bee Movie, pulled off what might be the campiest publicity stunt to date. The comedian apparently said that if there's anything he hates, quote, it's publicity that smacks of any kind of desperation. Just moments before being sent flying down a wire in a giant bee suit right over the heads of Cannes attendees. Well, Jerry, if you don't make it, I just want to say, I never really thought you were that funny. It's one heck of a punchline, that's for sure. Or should we say buzz line? Number 5. A Parade of Nude Cyclists It seems like a no-brainer that recreating a memorable scene from a film in real life would be a great way to promote it. 
This is especially true when a film is premiering at a festival as big as Cannes, where it's forced to compete for attention alongside other endeavors. As such, the Belgian movie The Misfortunates decided to do just that, and it shocked a lot of unsuspecting festival-goers in the process. A parade of cyclists was hired to ride through the streets near Cannes, completely nude. Number 4. Kevin Smith auctions off the rights to Red State to himself. When Red State premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, the stakes were higher than usual. For months prior to the screening, director Kevin Smith had promised to auction the horror film's rights to the highest bidder at the screening. I bid $20. So. Prospective buyers would be disappointed, however, as the auction was merely a stunt for Smith to sell the film to himself. Smith caused a ruckus outside of the theater as well, organizing his own counter-protest against the Westboro Baptist Church. Although the infamous church served as inspiration for the antagonists of his film, Smith invited one of the families protesting inside to see it. Needless to say, they were not the biggest fans of his work. Smith used outrageous signs to steal attention away from a protest by the Westboro Baptist Church. That group is well known for picketing military funerals and its extreme anti-gay message. Number three, everything that happened with Don't Worry Darling. If you're a fan of mega pop sensation Harry Styles, you've probably heard at least a portion of the drama surrounding Don't Worry Darling already. You know, my favorite thing about the movie is like, it feels like a like a movie. It feels like a real, like, you know, go to the theater film movie. To keep things brief, director Olivia Wilde claimed that she fired Shia LaBeouf due to Florence Pugh's discomfort with the actor. And then Shia accused her of lying and shared a private video of Wilde asking him to come back to set. This morning, a video with the hashtag Time's Up Olivia leaked to Twitter, allegedly shot two days later. It shows Olivia seemingly begging Shia to reconsider, alluding to a conflict between Shia and then co-star Florence Pugh. Shortly afterwards, Florence skipped the press event for the film at the Venice Film Festival, leaving Olivia and Harry to flounder mostly on their own. Florence's stylists also made a shady Instagram post referencing the Shia video, and for a brief moment, the internet was very convinced that Harry spit on co-star Chris Pine. Chris, in his seat, appears to have a reaction to something as Harry approaches and takes his seat. The internet went in, analyzing every frame. Number 2. The Yellow Carpet what better way is there to promote jackass number two than being, well, a jackass? I just had a leech chomp my eyeball. Yes. This seems to have been the logic behind Steve-O's poorly thought-out publicity stunt. At the Los Angeles premiere for the film, the star stunt performer relieved himself in front of crowds of fans. Onlookers were shocked, but not shocked enough for the star to get into any real trouble. That's gonna be a felony, huh? Oh, cool. Sweet, he'll be fine. Although he could have easily caught an indecent exposure citation, it would probably have felt pretty silly to do so at the premiere of a film that showcased far worse than stray urine. Today we're in Carmen de Arico with our friend Serge, and he is going to show us how to milk a horse. Still, don't try this or you're in trouble. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A Fake Gunman Crashes a Local Iron Man 3 Premiere There's never a time for this kind of stunt, but especially not the year after the real-life 2012 theater shooting in Aurora, Colorado. At the time, it was one of the worst mass shootings in the country's history and sparked now familiar conversations about gun control and mental health. During Iron Man 3's opening weekend, one Missouri theater thought they'd add a little excitement to the local premiere by hiring actors to storm into the screening with fake weapons. Unsurprisingly, many theater goers were more than shaken. Some even called the cops. No regrets for allowing this publicity. No, my job is to entertain people. Worse yet, the theater's manager defended his baffling marketing decision after the fiasco, even going so far as to claim that many found the stunt entertaining. Uh, it's an unfortunate lack of, of wisdom in this particular judgment that hopefully will never occur again. This is Mandarin behavior, guys, and no one likes the Mandarin. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.